I'll get this out the way right now. You might remember on the podcast, I said emotional support dogs. I don't support emotional support dogs. Fuck them. If you need a dog to lick your hand because you're scared of going on a plane, grow the fuck up. End of story. Grow up. It's a plane. It's not for dogs. Right? If you're blind, obviously, you've got to have a dog, haven't you? I mean, I still wish there was a way we could just have robots or something. But I guess if we were at that level of technology, we'd probably just make robot eyes, wouldn't we? No. And that's that's a debate for another day. The the, the point is, if you have to, if you're uh, so scared of flying that you have to have a fucking dog with you to calm you the fuck down, maybe you just don't get to fly. Maybe that's maybe that's your life now, right? You know, until you deal with your shit. Well, a lot of people didn't like that opinion. A lot of people fucking messaged me on, on YouTube saying, uh, oh, Richard, why do you hate the people that need emotional support dogs? And they did the usual appeal to, to you know, your, your sensibilities by saying, what about veterans? Never met a veteran who needs an emotional support dog, by the way. Uh, it's almost as if uh, it's not just a dog that's going to help. But sure, there probably are some veterans out there that have emotional support dogs. Uh, not because they're afraid of flying, though. Maybe they do need to take it from point A to point B. I guess that's fine. I guess if you've got some sort of medically diagnosed PTSD and you were in the military, all right, you can have a dog. But if you're just a little bit afraid of flying, fuck you. Fuck your phobia. You know, no one likes flying. It's unnatural. It's shit. Fuck having a dog, right? So there was a story, and it was a local news story, Sam. Happened just down the road from me and I, and I felt validated felt validated because this is the story that an emotional support dog just fucking mauled a passenger on the plane just straight minding his own business right and he was sat on he was sat in a window seat so they couldn't couldn't even get away right and this person comes on with a fucking emotional support dog right uh and interestingly enough, got to be said, it says here they're a military uh, service member. So this is going to test my love for the troops to breaking point because I hope this case blows up and they're just like, Do you know what? Dogs on a plane. Nah, fuck you. <laughs> Hire a private jet if it's, that, if it's that bad for you. Um, and what happened was they sit down and the dog immediately just doesn't like this motherfucker. That's a sad <laughs> <laughs> It just doesn't like him. It just straight doesn't like him. Now, get this, right? It's a four-year-old chocolate Labrador pointer mix. It's not like a fucking, you know, emotional support pit bull, emotional support Rottweiler. You know what I mean? It's not like a fighting dog, right? It's a fucking pointer lab cross. Like, I mean... It's it like quite a big dog, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's got a size on it, but it shouldn't be like... Oh, no, it's not aggro, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Labs are soft as shit. Pointers are usually well disciplined and well trained. So the fucking nonsense. So anyway, this dog straight up doesn't like this cunt. Like it just does. It, it right. It growled at him. Free. I like, was growling at him nonstop, and he said on three separate occasions, "Look, look, <laughs> is that is that dog gonna bite me?" Mate? Right. And I, I so I, on edge. For the oh, <laughs> Like just, 11 off, like just, that dog's gonna go for my neck. That dog's gonna go for my Oh, fucking hell. Every time he breathes, but I'll be just imagine, just imagine it, right? You just sat there by the window, sick, like, oh, I'll just get my head down, just sleep through this plane, like, you know, uh, this flight. <laughs> fucking, you know, four hours, like, I'm already delayed, fucking don't know where my bags are. It's all been shit, but, you know, I'm gonna skip the free bag of peanuts. <laughs> have some kip and then this guy sits down he's nervous because he's obviously a train wreck because he's got an emotional support dog and then the dog just doesn't like you it's just it just doesn't like you ah, ah. <laughs> oh, fucking please lord what have i done like what have i done to deserve this so this dog is just straight giving him the growlers and and the fucking block is saying look is it gonna bite me is it gonna bite me and, of course, the, the military dude is going, no, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> nah. just, just a bit nervous, that's all. Anyway, they're getting ready for pushback, and the dog just launched at this fella. Like, he started <laughs> biting him. Like, just straight started biting him. Biting his arms, going for his oh. face. Straight trying to pick him up, right? And they had to stop the plane 
Uh, they had to call a medical emergency. The man's full bleeding, like his shirt's in shreds. <laughs> he looks like he's gone through a werewolf transformation scene. Yeah. You know, we just put full on shredded clothes, bleachers or what? Nah, nah, no one got any. Or maybe they can't show them because of the case. It's weird actually, because all their names are anonymous. I don't know if it's because there's a military guy involved or something. But uh, all the names are anonymous in the news reports. Anyway. So this cunt now has to get off the plane, go to hospital, get stitches, get a tetanus shot. I mean, like, look at this for a fucking, this is the silver lining, right? So this guy's got done nothing except get on a plane. He gets attacked by a dog on a plane. <laughs> Just weigh that up in your mind, like the likelihood of this happening. That's gotta, right? There's got to be some money coming from somewhere at this point. Oh, he's getting paid. Mate, uh, do you know what? If it was me, what? this sounds harsh as, harsh as fuck. If this was I'd be me, winding a dog up is what you're going to say, you know? I thought you were going to no. say, I'd be trying to get it to attack me. No, no, no. If this was me, I'd wave all the money if I could just watch the dog get put down. <laughs> Angry. Just be there and it's for, in the vets. Just arms folded. Yep, yeah, you fucked up, son. Just <laughs> give it a so, signal. He definitely Mate, knows. I don't give a fuck. I love dogs. But... I've been attacked by a dog on a fucking plane. We live in a society where if someone in certain states, if someone kills a family member or does something here, she gets to go to their execution. <laughs> but, you know, you get to sit where there. Where does that happen? Texas, probably. <laughs> and... <laughs> probably. No, it yeah, does I'm Green Mile. You can't, yeah, that can't be real. You can't just go watch them get put down. No, they still do it, mate. They still do it. <laughs> they <laughs> They still do it, mate. They still they do it. There, and they sit there, right? And the last speech is always the same before they fucking fry him. The bloke always goes, I'm sorry about what I did, and I hope that this gives you some relief. And then they just put volts in the body. As if, why would he be a cuck no at the end? Straight nightmares. They're putting you down. Nightmares. At least be creepy or something. Do something or get remembered for it. Why should I feel sympathetic to a fucking dog? Like, like this dog is so unreasonable, Sam. Don't you get it? Like, this, this isn't like you the little fluffy him, dog. All of, yeah, he's just got on a plane, aggro as fuck. you got to be there for emotional support. This dog's meant to understand the complexities of the human condition. And it's just sitting there and it's just deciding <laughs> the fucking blue that it fucking doesn't like me. How dare you? See, this is Mr. Prince. He's come on, I gross fuck. If he's walking, you know, who wants a man? Who fucking wants a man? This dog is, this dog is unacceptable. It's a, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, why are you just... <laughs> oh, come on, mate. Like, <laughs> You're being you know, unreasonable. Come on. Just being out of fucking control there. Like, this, you know, and it, no one else. The dog is prejudiced, Sam. It's picked me out, hasn't it? I mean, not me, but the guy. <laughs> yeah, no, but right? Yeah. So, uh, fuck that dog. Seriously, fuck that dog. Everyone's like, no, oh, Richard, but the dogs are nice. Yeah, not this one. It's a cunt, isn't it? It's like the average person. I don't want the average person to go to jail forever, do I? But if you do something that warrants it, yeah, you're going to jail. This dog is a criminal, Sam. It's a criminal dog. Fuck him. He goes to, he, he goes to dog prison uh, at best. I don't give a fuck about... The guy's emotional support. Yeah? Maybe if he could have kept his shit together, maybe his dog... It, that's how fucked up he is. His nerves jingling, jangling have got to the dog. The dog is probably normal going in, hanging around with that cunt to put him on edge. Like, fucking hell, he wakes every five minutes. I can't get a good night's sleep in my basket. Someone's got to pay for that. It's unacceptable. So anyway, it, you know, this is, this is the silver lining. That the news report put out there. This is how shit your day is, right? Good news, the dog has been vaccinated for rabies. Brilliant. I'm not getting rabies then. All right, nice. My day has been salvaged. You know, I've got no clothes. I've got open wounds. I've had to have a tetanus shot. I've missed my fucking flight. Yeah, you're damn right. You better get paid. But more sensibly, fuck dogs on a plane. Samuel L. Jackson did a movie about snakes. I'd probably rather be next to a snake on a plane. Wouldn't you? Nah. <laughs> nah. I don't fuck with snakes, mate. Maybe not a poisonous one. Just, just the one. If mate. it's a big one, though, can it choke me to death? 
I'd like to think someone would notice me. Like, <laughs> no, mate. Do you realise that's that... just all muscle, though, but in a sleeve? Fuck, <laughs> up, but you need, like, three <laughs> people to pull a snake off you. A few digs, mate. A few like, digs. Yeah, it's like a dead just, arm, isn't it? Yeah. Just punch it off. Just punch that concrete hard muscle sound. Uh, like if, I'd, I'd rather be sat next to just a little, like, you know, like one of the ones that can just give you a nasty bite, yeah, a nasty yeah. nip. I don't mind that. I'm going to choke me there. Yeah. There weren't all deadly ones on snakes on a plane, were they, Sam? They weren't all deadly. You know, you you did have a constrictor, yes. Asking? <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> can we just make sure they're all poisonous before we you know, go crazy? I, I don't know what the one that jumped on that guy's dick was. Do you remember that one? Remember that yeah, bit? I don't know what the snake was, though. So, but yeah, I think I'd rather take my chances with the snakes than a big fucking aggressive dog, obviously. Depends. People forget that do- dogs will fuck you up. All I need is a chair, though, but all right, I can be a dog. I, I need a corner and a chair, and I, all right, I can survive. Well, yeah, maybe. Lion I mean, tamer like, style. Yeah, lion tamer style, like cracking yeah. away. Like, <laughs> but, but you shouldn't need to do that to get on a plane. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have to enter the gladiator bit to fucking fly. <laughs> That is a good point. It's, it's so ridiculous, though, isn't it? Like, this has got to stop. This madness has got to stop. Dogs don't belong on planes. They barely know what's going on when you put them in a car. They're scared of hoovers. You can't put them on a plane. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous.